Hi there, this is Daniel Apt, and I'm going to show you how to embed a Swift file using Swift Object. Why would you want to use Swift Object? Well, let me show you. Here you see a Swift file which has been embedded with Swift Object. It works fine. Now, let's say you don't have the correct Flash player. Then you'll get an alternative content, which we can choose. And here we have, or sorry, you can't see this awesome animation. Let's say you don't use Swift object but embedded a, uh, a, a Swift file, then you'll get this missing plugin. And we prefer to provide an alternative content instead of showing the missing plugin window. That's why we want to use Swift object. First, we'll need to export a Swift file. So I've opened our Flash document with our animation. And let's change the publish settings. Um, at this moment, I only want Flash and uh, let's set it to flash player 9 okay let's click the publish button and now you'll see that at my desktop I have a animation.swift file okay now let's uh, create a HTML page so I've opened my favorite text editor Coda but you can use any text editor and just copy the uh, HTML which is supplied with this tutorial which looks like this and after you've pasted the code uh, save it and we're going to save it at the desktop and name it page.html okay now we'll need to use Swift object so we'll need to download it so open a new window and in your browser and just Google Swift object and the first link is the link we'll need and just download Swift object to underscore two dot zip unzip it and here we have our folder and the only file we need is swift object.js we'll delete the zip and the folder and now let's return to our HTML page we'll need to tell our flash document to use Swift object. So let's create a script tag and set it to load Swift object.js. So, how does Swift object work? You have a diff with an ID, and you'll have the alternative content inside that diff tag. Swift object will replace the diff tag with the Swift file as long as the user supports the correct Flash player. So let's first uh, create our diff. Like so. And we'll put our alternative content here. We're sorry you can't see this awesome animation. Alright. And now we need to tell uh, our HTML page to use Swift object to embed a Swift file. So let's create a new script tag. And let's type Swift object dot embed Swift. And the first thing is um, the path to the uh, Swift file, which is animation. Swift. The next is the ID of the diff, which will be replaced by the Swift file, which is flash. The dimensions, which is 550 by 400. And lastly, the flash player, which is 9. Alright, so let's save it. So now let's open our HTML page inside a browser. I'll be using Google Chrome. And you see our Swift file has been embedded. Okay, um, that was it. If you have any questions, drop a comment and uh, I'll respond. Okay, cheers.